I'm Eric uh, Olson with the Center for Open Science. Uh, and for those of you that were here last night, you're not uh, experiencing uh, deja vu. We did uh, have a talk uh, last night as well. Um, and uh, so tonight we'll focus a little bit on um, some of the, the communities and partners that we work with uh, here at the center and sort of how that uh, manifests in our work. Uh, and just a, as a quick reminder, our mission here at the, the center is a, is a nonprofit uh, organization is to, to increase the openness, integrity, and reproducibility of research. And there are a number of, of functions that, uh, that we pursue in order to, to make our way toward this mission, one of them being uh, producing infrastructure that can enable uh, researchers to work their way toward um, the, these uh, ideal practices and in, in integrity and, and uh, transparency. And to Alexander's point uh, earlier, uh, I think it's interesting to look at this from this apparent tension when trying to develop a, a, a scholarly commons where the commons needs to be flexible enough that it can respect all of these different workflows that researchers come to their their work from, be it they're different by discipline or region or just personal approaches, but at the same time has to be specific enough that it actually solves some kind of problem for them. Um, and in our case, guides them toward some of these practices that um, we are advocating for and researching and learning about. Um, and while this, there might be a tension here, we don't look at it as so much a, a barrier, but rather a creative tension that provides opportunity uh, for dialogue um, that can help us bring these, these, two, uh, these two worlds together. And, and for us, on the infrastructure side, where that, that manifests uh, is with the OSF. And uh, the OSF's, you know, the concept here is that we can provide resources and tools for each uh, section of, or each part of the research life cycle um, so that uh, a researcher can go all the way from planning and, and registering their work like we talked about last night, all the way through um, you know, publishing and making their work uh, discoverable within you know, this, this workflow platform. Um, but something like this doesn't just sort of come out of the, the ether, um, but rather uh, with these three broad uh, groups that um, are, are intersecting and echoes a number of the groups we've uh, heard from this week. Um, but uh, in our case, we've got integrators, we've got members and supporters, and then research data contributors and consumers. And where the needs and opportunities for these groups you know, collide, where they all squish together in this space in the middle, is where we see real opportunities for uh, technical infrastructure to start closing some of those gaps um, between the, the challenges and opportunities that these three groups might share. Um, but uh, to Stephen's point earlier, the technical infrastructure is, is pointless if you don't have a social infrastructure to accompany that. The technical infrastructure grows out of the, that communication and coordination among in this case, these three broad uh, stakeholders and representatives within each of them. Um, and so we'll, we'll look a little bit at each of these. Uh, and in our case, the USF it was never the idea that we would occupy every space at once and research communication, but rather um, have elements within each section of the life cycle and then connect to the tools that researchers already use, um, connect them to the OSF so that they can you know, bring all of that uh, work into one uh, workflow and coordinate with their collaborators, even if they're using lots of different tools. If they have different uh, citation managers, they're using different active research data storage that you know they are favor or that their institution provides for them, or even into the line storage like uh, Dataverse. We integrate with all of these tools uh, to provide a way for them to unify these these different. Uh, workflows that researchers are coming to their collaborations uh, from. And most of these we build and maintain ourselves. And we're also members of uh, data site and cross referent DOIs with both groups. Um, and in addition to the, the integrations within the, the OSF itself, we also maintain an open API. So groups in different areas of, of research communication also will build a connection you know, to their tools from the OSF 
Um, a good example being one, a friend of, of Jay Rust in protocols.io, they just released their uh, OSF uh, integration a few weeks ago um, so that the, you can move your, your protocols and other documents uh, to and from uh, the OSF from protocols and uh, in the JRust spirits. Uh, we'll work with them uh, next month to do some collaborative events and show off some new features there. I just looking at the, the push and pull of contributors and consumers, data contributors uh, on OSF, um, the registrations, because the, the practice were really, one of the practice we're really trying to drive researchers to that we looked at last night, uh, we had almost 17,000 uh, already in 2020, 17,000 new registrations, uh, 18,000 preprints, uh, 4 million unique visitors, uh, almost 2 million uh, public files shared uh, through the OSF and 23 million files downloaded um, from uh, the OSF itself. Uh, and then we have um, supporters that come from, from lots of different directions, including grants and funders, uh, but also members of our some services that we run uh, within the center and in the o, uh, on the OSF. Um, and one of these uh, OSF institutions, uh, I think uh, is interesting and institutions are a, a tool, a suite of tools that um, aggregate and affiliates the research that an institution's researchers are already doing on the OSF, uh, but captures all of that data to provide some insight uh, for administrators and some attribution for uh, those researchers uh, for all the work that they're doing on the OSF. But what is really interesting, um, what's developing here with this community that uh, we're working with, with multiple universities all over the world, mostly universities right now, as a microcosm of our whole approach. Um, so we have the, the institutions as you know, members of, uh, of this service and they provide support to uh, the center and our mission and the OSF itself so that we can continue to, to build these features. Um, their community is made up of research data contributors and consumers and they support uh, the OSF because their, their researchers value and use the tool. Uh, and then also integrations, one of the services that we can provide for institutional members is like those other their tools we've already integrated, we will integrate with a tool that they would see value in connecting to the OSF for their uh, researchers, be that local storage, uh, institutional repositories, or other tools uh, that their researchers would uh, gain some real uh, opportunities from. Uh, but beyond that, uh, beyond what we're building right now with some of these integrations, um, also members of this, this community institutions are taking our technical resources and they're building integrations into the OSF uh, and some of the stuff that they're working on are, are genres that are completely new uh, integrations for the OSF, and including computing resources and streaming data and really cool stuff um, that we really haven't uh, touched on yet as far as the, the integrations that we provide. And that's all coming from just initiative uh, and energy from this community with you know, so support and coordination um, from you from here centrally at the center, but also among one another, uh, these institutions are, are really driving us forward. And the idea being that in a few years, we'll have lots of, of integrations that uh, researchers will be able to take advantage of. So anywhere that they have their, their work happening, if it's appropriate, um, they could connect it to the OSF and coordinate uh, with their collaborators from um, all over the world, no matter which other tools they're using, they can all connect them to the OSF so they can share and, and uh, collaborate together. Um, so I'm always, always wanna hear uh, from new folks and things that you're building and see if there are opportunities that we might be able to, to partner on something like these integrations or, or grants or community uh, social projects uh, are great for me too. They don't have to be technical features. Um, so I would, would love to talk to you. So uh, please do reach out to me and I'll, I'll put my info in the uh, Slack chat, um, but I would love to chat with you.